Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So we're going shopping today for some Inktober supplies. A lot of people are wondering like what kind of ink supplies I can use. Do I have to buy fancy? Okay, first off, you do not have to use fancy inking supplies. So this is at Hobby Lobby. So here's a couple of ideas for you guys on when it comes to inking. So you see we've got of course the Copic markers and then they have Master's Touch alcohol markers which are super cheap and they're really awesome quality. I did a couple reviews on them before. If you want to check those out you can go check them out. I did all of Mermaid with these things. I love them and I love the fact you can buy the packages and you can buy them individually so you can only get what you need. And of course I've seen tons of ink topers done with Sharpies and before you saw like the Prismacolor alcohol markers and the Copic markers and here's some gel pens and I mean gel pens are ink they're all ink the possibilities are endless and like I said you do not need to have fancy art supplies all I use is a ballpoint pen and I use um, my Bombay and Winsor & Newton ink and you'll see that in a second and I use a lot of these liners look at all the different liners that you can choose from Micron is definitely my favorite brand love it I don't know if it's like Sakura brand or Micron but I love it and then here are some fountain pens so if you guys want to get really fancy with Inktober then you can do that and you can see look at it. it's always like the sales are always pretty good so once again this is a Hobby Lobby look at all of this look at the elegant calligraphy stuff that you can work with Oh geez, I've never seen any calligraphy work with Inktober before. And there's my water brush pens that I get for my ink when I'm on the go. And there's some really fancy looking Japanese ink pens. They're like brush tip pens. They're really fun to work with. And then look at all the Bombay ink. So you see, it does, you can buy individual colors if you're just doing a mo monochromatic scene, um, scene or whatever you want for Inktober or for the prompt of the day. Or if you're not doing prompts, you don't have to do prompts, but just look at all the endless possibilities and yep, all the fun stuff and I really, really want this. Then I go ahead and I jump onto the other side of the aisle and here's all the painting supplies. So there's my flower palette that I use and they've got a porcelain one. And they've got all kinds of different palettes if you think you're going to use just like the ink and the watercolor technique if you guys are interested. There's some brush washers. I don't own any of the brush washers. <laughs> oh, t plenty of paint brushes. So all the fun stuff here. And okay, now we're going into Michael's. So this is Michael's art aisle and you see how their setup's totally different different they've got pens galore and they've got their own different sales and everything I don't really follow their sales I follow more of Hobby Lobby sales but you can see all the different pens look at they got the Stabilo Stabilio whatever they're called Micron individually sold and you can see all the different packages and it's just interesting and then they actually do sell the Winsor & Newton ink individually like the Bombay inks that I showed you at the Hobby Lobby and they have uh, a, bun a bunch of like the Dr. P.H. Martins and that's a lot of iridescent ink as well. Um, it's just really interesting. I love going and shopping for ink at Inktober because you don't really pay attention to the inking supplies until it's this time of the year and you're just like hey well I want to try this this year so for example these are the packages that I bought and you saw it in my preparing for Inktober 2019 video those are the packages I bought however I did buy them on Amazon I did not buy them at Michaels but see the different colors and I love Winsor Newton inks if I were to suggest if you wanted to do the watercolor technique like me I would go with Winsor Newton ink of course over on this side you see that Michaels actually has their Copic marker racks. Um, they have the Chow little ones, <laughs> and then they have the Copic marker sketch markers. Um, and then they have their own brand, similar to how Masters Touch is, is an artist loft brand. And then they have their Tombow brand, and I think these are like water soluble, so you can manipulate them with water, which is really cool. They're still ink though. They're brush pens. They're really fun. They're like double tipped. They're fun to work with. I haven't really, I think I've worked with like one before, but I've never really grabbed a whole package. But yeah. 
there you go. There are two local, like, Michaels and Hobby Lobby in the United States. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, different countries if you guys have, like, a Michaels or whatever. Um, so I did buy one art supply that I wanted to try because I've been very, very curious. Because, once again, I told you, when you come to this point of the year, Inktober, you go... You don't really pay attention to the inking supplies until this year. You get to October and you're like, oh, I'm now just noticing all these art, wonderful inking supplies, art supplies, blah, blah, blah. And so I kept looking at the fountain pens and I kept looking and I have not worked with fountain pens ever. I think I worked with like a dip fountain pen once just to be a little fancy and I think it came with those melted stamp packs like I got a found it was like it was like a really turn of the century not turn of the century it was like 1800s kind of pack where you get the melted stamps and you get the little emblems to put into the melted stamps you melt the wax onto the envelopes and it came with a fountain pen that had a little feather on top and the bottle of ink it was really it was really fun to work with and I kind of was looking at that but then I thought saw the price and was like uh uh so this little fountain pen was only five dollars so I wanted to go ahead and one point of this video is to apologize for saying that digital art did not count for Inktober because Jake Parker, the creator of Inktober, he said, a lot of you guys said that he did say that digital art was acceptable for Inktober. But the thing is, I, I was my bad. I shouldn't have said that it was against the rules because I don't know. But um, I think that digital art and traditional art have their own challenges, but I'm very partial to, to traditional art for Inktober because there's just something about working on a piece of paper and working on your inking. I was really, really bad at lining. I still kind of am. I'm tr still like struggling with the, the weights and my lines and just how thick they should be, how thin they should be, where the light is hitting or just leaving gaps or having like a complete connection of line altogether. I mean, I know there's so many different types of lining and I'm still learning. And if you are struggling with lining, then work on it. Or if you wanna learn cross hatching, then work on cross hatching. If you wanna work on shading with one Copic marker, marker or alcohol-based marker, then work on that. Um, Bernie Wrightson is one of Steven's favorite cross-hatching ink artists and you can just see how much amazing detail there is in it. And you just look at it. I mean, if you look up his work, he does a lot. It's a lot of gory stuff, so watch out. But it's just beautiful, the cross-hatching. And that is one of my favorites. So you do not need fancy art supplies. You don't need it. And I and I'm just using a simple ballpoint pen. That's what I used for many, many years when I started Inktober. And our just simple Bombay ink. That's all you need. I just, there's just something about seeing it in front of you. You don't have to follow the prompt list and you don't have to do every single day. You don't have to try it. October is a crazy month for me. I don't know about you guys, but it's insane. So if you miss a day, it's okay. It's all right. But if this is your first time and you're like, I want to do it, then set a goal for yourself. I do that for me myself all the time. I always set a goal, an art goal for myself, and I push myself until I get there. But it's just for you. That is your preference. The point is to have fun and to work on your inking and just have fun. So it's a simple, simple, fun month, fun challenge, especially for an artist. And who knows, if you're looking into art schools, you can got, you guys can show like your inking collection that you made for Inktober. It's a lot, a lot of fun. And I hope you all will participate. And Jake Parker is one of my favorite, favorite artists to follow. If you ever need any inspiration, then follow him on Instagram. Or if you need to follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'll be posting all my Inktober doodles on there. I'm not going to record every single day. But yes, guys, that was the point. Fun shopping trip and don't need fancy art supplies. Just have fun. I'll see you guys later. Bye.